Ah, things weren't all messed up this time. Welcome to Fisking with Buck. I'm learning. I figured out what was messing me all up after when I do this stuff is when I'm typing. <clears throat> right before the show starts, I'm usually typing something in the chat. And that's what, because I'm hitting hotkeys, is what screws my thing up. Where I got stuff all over the screen that's not supposed to be over the screen. And I got screens that are on that aren't supposed to be on. <laughs> I figured it out. Welcome, my friends. Ah, Sunday night. Biscuit with Buck. Where are we headed to tonight? Well, <clears throat> I thought. I went back through my notes. Looking at everywhere we've been for the last couple of months. And um, it's been a while since we were down at the Everglades. So I thought maybe we'd shoot down to the Everglades tonight. Um, there's a lot of good fishing down there in the Everglades. So we can hit up the bowfin down there, brown bullhead down there, butterfly peacock, largemouth bass, channel catfish, reds. Everybody loves to fish for reds. We got a good, nice sized red drum down there, uh, tarpon down there, snook. So it's quite a bit of fish. All different size gear for everything down there. So I thought we could down there, see if we could get a bunch of us together tonight. <clears throat> Hopefully, we'll get a couple of new club members going. We're up to 14 members now in the club. I only got six slots left, guys. Six slots left in the club. This club. We got a couple more clubs coming. We're getting around that one per user thing. We're going to get that fixed up here at, at the Grumpy Buckle Lodge. Now remember about that, guys. Remember, got to, you got to hit that lodge. You got to hit the Discord Lodge. That's where everything. That's the that's the heart of everything. That's where everything pumps out of the Grumpy Buckle Lodge. The club's based out of there. You got to be a Discord member. Um, we have meetings out of there, so we shoot videos out of there. That's that's kind of like the pool hall. It's a place to come hang out on the Discord server. All right. Speaking of which, I need to get that opened up. There's probably everybody over there screaming at me because I haven't got, I haven't logged on to the Discord server yet. But I thought I'd get through this first before they start on me. <laughs> Let's jump over and take a look real quick at our sticks. All right, guys. Let me get that up there, Buck. Here you go. All right. Well, we're going after what? <clears throat> well, I just named all the fish we're going after. So, I figured this here. I, I was set up for, we were fishing last night. I don't even, I can't even remember where we were at last night. Where did we go last night? Weeping Willow, that's right. So, I was set up for some smaller carpet Weeping Willow. I think I even have a real small, yeah, I got a Laker Pro in here. Real small bottom rod. Um, well, that ought to be fun. 14 pounder, fish a little bottom rod for some bass and boat fin. That ought to be pretty cool. We'll take him. That's all right. I don't have really have time to change things out, so we're just going to be kind of stuck with what I got <clears throat> to go with here tonight. Um, what else we got here? Oh, huh. okay. Uh, yeah, that could work. All right, that could work. All right, what kind of match rods did, did you got? Do you got stored up there, Buck? There's another killer rod. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, the only match rod you got here. And that's the only spinning rod. Little bottom rod. That's a very big spinning rod. Well, one ounce. We can still... <laughs> well... All right, we're going with these sticks. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. <laughs> if you're watching this video, don't take these sticks. If I mean, <laughs> these would be all right for the tarpon. I mean, what the hell? In the reds, they're not too bad overkill. They're all right. Uh, we don't really have any small gear, right? But we'll 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 make it work. We'll make it work for tonight. All right. That'll work. I'm not changing nothing out. I know I, I knew we ain't got what to worry about. No boat down there. 
All right, let's go here. Da -da -da. Look over. Whoa, Buck, where are you going? Everglades. Give me a license. Get a license, Buck, and then go turn this <coughs> Discord server on. 4,000 by license. Whoa, there we are. All right. Now, let's go get the Discord server on because we're falling behind, my friend. There we are. Hang out with Buck. Oh, we got nobody there yet. Good. All right. Everybody says they're going to be late. That's okay. Down to Florida. All right, I got everything here, folks. Let's get down there. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go. That's not a problem. All right, guys, here we are. We got a couple of drop-in zones here. I don't know where you want to start off with today. We can start off over here for some gar and see what we pick up. Or maybe we'll just go right around the horn tonight. We'll end up over here at Salty Delta. Jump in here. We got a couple. We got the floating thickets, infinite tunnels, lily pad channels. So, I think we could start at the lily pad channels. There's Gar over in here. And then we'll hit. There's Gar and good, good bass over in here. Open over in here, right off of this side here. Pick up a bar over here. Peacock bass over in here. And then we'll start here at the infinite channel. Really bad channel. Alrighty, random room. Gonna create a club room here. Alright guys, you better get here. You clubsters that just joined. Start making club points. All right, fuck. Uh, don't fall in. Where do you want to start here, guys? What do we start with? What do you got on here? Bloodworms and a number four hook. That's kind of small there, fella. Three are on here. Medium cup age. I know the bobbers too small. Let's see what we grab up over here right off the bat. I noticed these guys blowing up at this point in the morning. I don't know. Glass is out, Buck, so that's Larry right there. There we are. Four inches, that's a little bit deep there, buddy. About 48. Be about 39 at this point. Uh oh. Oh, you are running later. Alright. 54 on the line, Buck. 54 on the leader. on the wheel. Thank you. 
no better than to have doubted you. Put a rod stand out so I could do other things other than stand here staring at this pole. Uh huh. Somebody heard me. About time here now. Let's go with it. Oh, you're pretty up there far on your dragon. Oh, look out. Oh. There's a nice one. Nice little Florida gar with his little pug nose. I'll keep him. He's still out there. Get a couple more of them in there, buddy. Oh, you should have looked before you threw that out there, Buck. How's the bite thing look like? Zoom in a little bit more. Not that far. All right, we'll go with that. I can touch the mouse wheel, it moves another 35 feet in the wrong direction. Just getting started here tonight. All by myself. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yes, you are. All by yourself. M me and you. Is any, anybody even watching it? Just give him a buck. 31 views. That's not the right. Just give him a buck. <laughs> there we are. Holes too big. I'm getting getting negative XP. That's what happens with his Phoenix. Because it's a twenty two pound stick. I think you're only catching six pound fish. There we go. Come on, Lucy, I'm home. What is that all about? Ringing my doorbell and running. Hmm. 
Might have to move on to something else for a little more aggressive bite. I thought for sure we'd catch five or six of these gar real, real quick. Hey, Buck, next time in, make sure you check the bite. Hey, well, we're doing a little gar fishing right now in the Everglades. So, your volume's adjusted real quick. I thought you weren't going to be on for a while. Uh, I couldn't let you be by yourself. <laughs> I appreciate that, my friend. It's always better to talk to someone than it is to talk to myself, even though I do talk to myself because I like expert advice. You did some professional advice once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, did you see my announcement in uh, General Chateau? Oh, about the Arctic Grayling. Yeah, the perfect the first document. That that's a pretty sweet thing to cut, you know, to have happen there for especially. Well, you guys have cold enough water up there that they'll, you know, it'll be cool. They're not going to be for uh, keep yet, but we'll say DNR also were to catch two of them, as long as you do immediate release after your picture, there's nothing to be. That's pretty cool. That's a that's real. Also, on that, some lakes, we have tight restrictions. Well, if the backwards if the backwards were stretched normally, you know, it's twenty four or larger as a keeper. Right. But we do have a couple of them called more privatized lakes where you can't keep those fish. But if they're under twenty four inches all of a sudden you can keep them. Ah. And then in certain lakes our trout are going are getting their uh type C restriction removed. Well, that due to probably because of good good game management, you know, the, what these restrictions that they put in place years ago have now paid off. And, you know, you can go back to fishing decent fish and catching decent fish and they've got their fish sizes up in their lakes. I, I, think, our, I think Pennsylvania does a piss poor job of fish management, to tell you the truth. I don't want to be too uh, loud because you know we only have a lot of them and whatnot. But I'm going to say this: I'm surprised we're doing as well in my state as we are, considering our habitat and our got fired from Montana for doing this job so piss poor. Yeah, my area. Well, so, again, this is a conversation for the the lodge, not here. <laughs> I don't want to step on any toes anywhere. <laughs> Well, we haven't named a state, so, well, besides the one state. Yeah, I've already done enough damage in this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a big one jumping. Oh, I love this new update. Um, it used to be that everything that we had jumping in around out of the water was just little tiny bait fish. That's all you ever saw jumping. And now when you're on all the waterways, you actually see some of the game fish uh, jumping and leaping up out of the water, which is really crazy. I was, especially down in South America, you get to see those silver arowanas come up out of the water. Um, that's pretty cool. 
That's uh, thumbs up to you there, Fishy Planet. I en I'm enjoying that graphics upgrade. Well, I figured I'd come watch you really intently because I'll be moving over that waterway here pretty soon. I'll be paying for the blades for a while. Oh, this is a good one to make money at, but you. You know, because it's a low-level waterway. But it has good summer speed. Yeah, you, I mean, you get here when you're 18, and, um, you know, you the, the, the situation is, is like I told Cody, if you come here right when you're 18, level 18, um, you don't have the weapons for the Salty Delta. Don't, don't even go over there, because you're just... You won't be able to land those. If you latch on to them tarpon in a big red or the snook, if you do land them, it's a 20-minute fight, 25-minute fight. Your poles are beat up. You don't last long down here with level 18 gear. Yeah, I just... I just hit level 15 on my alt account, and uh, I still haven't left Lone Star. <laughs> oh, you still alone? Uh-huh. Fishing for crappie. Crappie and bass? I don't even, because right now I don't have the, I don't have the unlimited license, so now if I catch a, if I catch a bass that's over a hundred dollars, then I keep them. And I take my chance on the whether or not I get fined, I don't care. As long, as long as the fish is worth more than a hundred bucks, I I still made money on the fish. So, I catch those bass, but a lot of them I only make twenty six dollars on, you know, twenty eight dollars on, because they're you know they're worth one hundred and twenty eight, and I get fined a hundred bucks. <laughs> So you're just sitting there pan fishing for the most part. Oh, that's all I'm doing. I I just have an omni float. See, the point is, is you can't you can't hit the trophy crappy hole with that telescopic pole that they give you when you first start the game. You can't reach it from the bridge. You're you're a little bit too short, and you end up catching a lot of shiners and bluegill. Yeah. Um, hi, Micah. So if you buy that Omni float, which I still carry to this day at level 80, and it's available at level 3, I think, or 4, um, <clears throat> you buy that 1410 Omni float and, and get yourself some 8-pound test line on that 7.5-pound pole, with a seven, and you can get a 7.5-pound, I think a 7.7 seven reel, maybe a 7.5 reel, something like that. Oh, the reels are shy. They're a little bit shy, I think, maybe. But anyway, point being is, is you can now reach that trophy crappy hole. And with crickets and bloodworms, you can just catch trophy crappy after trophy crappy. That's the fastest way to make money and level up. Now, you can catch crappy... With the telescopic rod they give you to the on the left hand side of the bridge, but it's you don't get as many as often, uh -huh. and you and you don't get the trophies as much. Uh -huh. But to get you up to the first like ten levels, that's where you fish with the telescopic one. Personally, I do think little hole off the bridge because. Well, I don't. I don't leave the bridge unless I'm hunting the smallmouth buffalo or the um, catfish. Cause you can you can get your grass pickerel or that pickerel there and and the bass right off the bridge. But the only deep hole is the one down there in front of the in front of the dam there. Am 
Mike, how are you doing? Pretty good, Mike. How about yourself, buddy? I'm trying to play a comedy now. Well, was, you, was, was, was you in a football? Um, was you in a football game? No. Oh. <laughs> you saw me playing earlier. Yeah. That's all right, buddy. That's all right. My turn this time. Very good. Good to have you. You know it's all. I want to do an old man more like the modern one. Ah. I want to work on one on modern one. Well, yeah. I thought we'd hang out here at the Everglades for a while. We haven't been here in a long time. And I was talking to Cody the other day. Where is he at, by the way? He, he was he was he was down here at the Everglades at the Everglades catching some fish. So I thought, well, we ain't been down there in a while. Maybe we should head down there for Sunday. Oh, that's so old. Yeah, she went to eat get dinner. She said she'd be back in a few minutes. Oh, oh well, I think we're gonna. The, our, we caught our four or five gar out of there. That kind of wore out. All right, so. Let's see here. Hello, everybody. There he is over there, that car. Hi, Joe. We saw him over there. And then we're going to throw a couple of minnows on. We got to hook up. My way. How are you, Jules? I am good. Very good. Very good. I wanted to get on last night. But they wouldn't leave. <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> Okay. Joe, Joe's, oh, had, I... Joe's had company again, Micah. Yeah, they like her company. Right. Yeah, they like her company so much they don't go home. Well, Well, I gave up on my gars, but then I walked over here and I saw my little gar hole blowing up over there. So I thought, well, maybe I'll, since I have the medium yeah. cup bait on there, I'll try one more time over there. Yeah. But still, I'm not being very patient tonight for some reason. I'm not waiting it out. Give up on that. I changed my bait key around from the bracket key to the Z key. What? Well, with the new update, they changed your quick bait key. It used to be the bracket key on a PC. Yeah. It used to be your bracket yeah. key was your quick bait. Now it's the Z key. Same as the zoom key, but when you've got your pole up in the air like this, then you hit the Z. Now you get your quick bait. All right, let's okay. do let's do a little s little small minnows here. Let's try that. Uh-huh. Okay. Hello. 
Micah, where are you at? We we need we need club we need club people fishing. You better get here to Florida. Yeah, where are you, Micah? I'm trying to make it you were last Sunday. What do you mean where I was last Sunday? Uh Tiber. You're you're at Tiber. What are you doing there? Uh I still need to get those last fish there. Well, you have to remember on Sunday nights you have to fish in a club room so we all make club points so we win our division. You didn't watch the bait shop where I explained all about the clubs last night. What's that guard doing? What's that guard doing eating my bass small minnows in my bass hole? Oh boy, that sounded pretty good. Right in my bass hole. <laughs> I I have a gar I have a gar in my bass hole. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> yeah! You gotta watch, Micah. You gotta watch the bait shop because. Yeah, I went all over how the new leagues are going to work with the clubs and everything, and we get points. I'm not your club. I can still mess you up. Yeah, but you have to fish in the same room. You got to fish in club rooms. Uh, I don't play so much on that. Well, yeah, that's the rules. That's how you get that. You have to be in this. You got to be in the same room. Oh, oh, oh. What? Look at that one. He's a big one. Oh, I mean. A trophy bluegill. Little four, little four pound bass. Now, see, it should be getting clubmate bonuses. Yeah, there we go. Now get your butt over here, Micah, so we get more. <laughs> keep. All right, we'll keep. All right. All right. Keep the worst one I can get. Okay. And where's coat where's where's coat at? Did did he have to go back to school? I think so. I think today's Monday. He had to go back to school today. I lost my mo I lost my moderator. I hope I don't get a crazy one like last night. You missed all the fireworks, guys, last night on the stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I'll tell you later when we're not on another stream. <laughs> Coach took care of it. Uh oh, there he goes. You weren't paying attention, Bucky. Almost ran away with your bait. Where's he going? I'm going down on you, buddy. Huh? Where's that fish going? How far down am I fishing, Jules? Yeah. Um, I think I'm like 50 something. I better check here. Let me look. Oh, okay. 48 inches. Well, I don't know. They don't seem to be hyping it up very much, do they? No. Because um, when I looked on the Steam News, all they talked about was the Gars and Glory event for Halloween. Well, 
I'm not in a yeah. Halloween party one. No, they didn't talk about the Halloween tournament. No, they did not talk about the Halloween missions, I should say. Mm. So, I, I, I mean, it comes out every yeah. year. It comes out every year. I imagine we're going to have it again. Uh, but? What? I got my unique Neo. Very good. We'll see you here. Oh. In... Not this year. Now you Not can... Either. Now you can jump on a plane and come to Florida. Uh, remember I said I was trying to get my other release? Uh, oh, all right. You said I can do that. I know. <clears throat> look at Jules here. That's why I caught this unique eel here. Look, look, look at Jules getting that large mouth. Large mouth. Nice large mouth. What'd you get that eel on? Uh, me and Cupmate. Ah, huh? We're fish number four hooks. Yeah, number four. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, I need an explosive one, not the only one. Hey guy, my Did I get that guy? I'm done with that. There you go. Wait, how many eels? You have some eels in yours? How many? How many eels in Europe? In Europe? Yeah, like the uh, ones I just saw. Only on the Netherlands. And the one I was in earlier? Right because the only other eels are down in South America. No, right? I'm talking about the European eels. The ones you. The, the European <laughs> eel. <laughs> That yeah, that's at Sander Bagasy. That's one of them too. Sander Bagasy has them, and uh, who else has them? That's it. Tiber. Yeah, and the Tiber. Sander Bagasy and the Tiber. Oh, there goes the, uh, that northern place that has the boat. Uh oh. What? We've got a fat boy here. Hey, but you've got the uh, the lower troll lake too. Oh, there is level 12. Look at this guy. Oh, trophy largemouth dogs. Yeah. Level 12. They're, uh, they're level... Newsom, the Newsom, like... Oh, get to Newson. Yeah, they have they have an eel. That's three of them. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. Yeah, Tiber to Newson. And Sandra Bagger. Yep. That's basically. Look at that trophy. The other one you can see that was in South America. Look at that one, Jules. Look at that one. Look what wow. I caught. Look what I caught. Look what I caught. Nice. <laughs> 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 Just for that, you watch. She's gonna catch one bigger than you. Oh, she nor she normally does. She'll pull the uni in here in a minute. Yeah. Like crazy. Crazy. He knows all your holes. You know, he gave them all away. Yeah. She knows. <laughs> she knows where all the holes are. She'll get my uni here quick. Uh, but you're still working for that unique book tab over in White Moose, right? Yes, I am. Let me tell you how you got me for you. The other ones I already got were with the Spinner Walk, remember that? Well, I know. You know, a lot of a lot of those fish on the lower levels I had already caught. You know, especially White Moose, like that's level 22. Uh -oh. 22. Uh -huh. So I had already got all the fish on white moose the first time around. I can't believe I'm having such a hard time. Oh, there's a nice one, Jules, with this uni brook trout this time around. Hmm. I guess I got my first unique eel here, bud. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well. You're probably not a problem getting that, are you? 
I haven't even looked what I need that to, at those waterways yet. I was on the non paint area. I got on the, a, a, a non paint area. <laughs> well, I always said that, you know, you a lot of these unis, that's when you catch them is when you're in that complete off, Ooh. you know, off peak. And then just happens to me. Yep. Bud, you got a big one. You got uh, a big one, bud? No, just a look. He was nice, but no trophy. <laughs> what size of lake are you in Florida? This size. Um, we're we're just fishing at the lily pad joint. The the far one on the right there or left. If you're looking mm -hmm. at the map. There just happens to be a lot of big bass in this hole, and you can catch gar here too, which is nice. And I could turn around to the left and catch the bowfin. He's right over there. Another gar, and then the peacock's in here too. So this kind of you can pretty much catch everything. And if you flip around to the back here, you can get the 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 Oscar that's here is over here too. So I thought we'd start here. It's a to me, it's the biggest variety of, yeah. you know, the freshwater fish. Where are y'all at? Uh, Everglades. Hi. Just, just Hi. Thro throwing around some. <laughs> oh, there's there's Smart Boy 2012. Where's he at? He he needs to get here to the Everglades and join. Well, that was me. Um, it doesn't say yeah, right. I think huh? he's well. He's above forties, or he can't be in the club. So he's like I forget whether he's forty-seven or forty-nine. Most of my cousins are higher. Cause he always do that much. Yeah. Cause I got always forty-nine. Oh, there's a nice trophy, Jules. Jules, nice seven pounder. Nice. Hold on. Let me there. Thank you. I'm going to go on this one. Enjoy your four dozen. <laughs> it has enough money, but it only has seven fish and hockey. It's not bad. Oh, that's enough. Yeah. I've been claiming it. Well, they haven't implemented the leagues update yet, so we we don't get to. I don't think we're gonna. Uh, we won't accumulate what what they're calling club points until they put that new update in. It comes and that's gonna come. Yeah, I'll have 14, I'll have 32 on it. Well, I think that's coming in a week or two. Mm. It may even come this week, the, the leagues. It um, might. Yes. My other cat has 13 out of 32 in Florida. Oh, Jules, nice trophy there, Jules. I'm coming in. All right. Thank you. Make sure I have bait, remember? <laughs> yeah, make sure you have bait. I don't want to go full. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jules, okay. did you remember your worms? Huh? Did Jules remember her worms? <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> oh. I got one, I got maggots. I have a whole lot of stuff. There you go. <laughs> we got a guy to join the club. I got to figure out who he is. He's got four. He's got fourteen days. Fourteen days in game playing, and he's level forty-seven or something. Forty-nine. Whoa. Yeah, he, he must have taken a trip to the Congo. Oh, that's fine. Oh, speaking of that, Browning, how'd your trip to the Congo go? <laughs> I'm here right now. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to work on this 
towel, but this, this is six dollars, not bad. I was gonna get some really from the phone you guys, but. Well, well, yeah, we we get a lot, we get a lot of XP when we fish in the same room. It's coming in. It's coming in hot. Look out! Okay. He'll, he'll be driving. <laughs> he'll be driving that Draco boat right up through the That's damn dock. Oh, we got five bucks and four of them. You. <laughs> I'm right behind you guys. <laughs> Oh, he's a little guy. Can that frog popper work when the back is too? That frog popper, well, in normal life, okay, I have, I fish with a frog popper all the time in real life, and they work pretty good. Well, major poppers. Major poppers I fish with all a lot in real life, and they work. But I have never fished. I have never fished with a frog popper in this game yet. And I own like, I own like 40 of them. Frog oh, <laughs> poppers are okay. The good thing about frog poppers is that they have the popping ability and they can't get hung up on weeds. Mm -mm. Well, a lot of the fish will eat them. Smash them, smash them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I use them in real life, but I, n I never really strung one up here in the game. I, I never had to resort to it. But pretty much when I went after something with what I wanted to throw, I got it. That's, that's one thing that's a little bit unrealistic about the game. Um, it's almost completely impossible to go out in Fishing Planet and get skunked. I mean, if you get skunked, then you didn't put your bow in the water. <laughs> but that's not how it works in the real world. Now, granted, it's been a long time since I've I've come home with an empty net, but it happened. Would you catch a shiner? A bus, a mouse, <laughs> a bass with a, a jig, a bass jig, I think. All right, now wait, wait a minute. Now. We got three people here now. I have to see. Well, my clubmate bonus went down. What do you mean? How the hell can that happen? Maybe it's just yeah. because of that fish. Because there's three of us here now. That's not trophy bass. <laughs> Jules, what are you fishing with? A Loki? Or a Zeus? Yeah, or, or a Zeus? I think she's fishing. I, I got a quick look at it. I think it's a. I thought it looked like a Loki. A Loki? Hmm. The pole. I'm gonna do a dog tournament this week. Oh, you're gonna do it? Yeah. Excellent. What's it? Good what's luck. I'm gonna do a new one. He's gonna do the Gars and Glory. It's a tournament. When does it start? It starts on the 17th. Uh, registration opens tomorrow. It starts on the 18th. Oh, that's not that far. Uh, so it starts tomorrow morning, huh? Well, regist uh, registration opens tomorrow. I like doing it. That's not uh, how you do it, man. I'm not quiet. Uh, and doesn't it sound no boats around? No, no boats. No rod holders? No rod holders. Uh, no that means I can't 
use my little one over, so that's why. Oh yeah, one pole, one pole in your hand when you're fixing the tournaments. Yeah. That's it. Okay. That's the way Buck likes to fish. Well, I'm not very good at hearing when they take the fish thing, right? <laughs> Me well, you better know where the big boys are because you got to catch them fast in that two hours. How about mm -hmm. it, Jules? You got to catch them pretty fast, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think Jules got something here. Yeah, Peacock bass. I need a unicorn. Smoke, your microphone's really blowing up. You're over gain. Anyway, uh, well, sometimes it's okay, and then sometimes it's like out there. Like you sound like Major Tom in space. How's that? Uh, well, it's not breaking up. You still sound like you're in a tin can. I'm just trying to give you my best Soviet. What's yours? I don't know. I don't know. I'm only getting plus five on the club, mate. I'm not I'm not liking that, but okay. All right. You got a big one, bud. Let's try this. <laughs> I won't. Okay, now I should have me on that. Wait. Uh, what? Do uh guard like uh that thing? <laughs> oh, we got SP. Okay, I think this is a UV. It is. Very nice. That's what I needed. I I guess I didn't need a fast forward on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Nice job. It's skin with buck. That's what happens. Hi, honey. Oh, she's on the stream. Very good. Good job, Micah. Nice fish. Yeah. It was on the early morning, like always, right? People do. Early morning. Well, we're only at eight o'clock here. We're not too far along. Thanks. Thanks. I just got here when, at five. There he is. Dude, I just got here uh -oh. at five with half of the rain. And I started hitting the fish. Like, what? Yep. We got there, Joel. Oh, this is a way of the Alright, I got him. There's a nice fat boy. Not than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, we do this all the time. I yank one out, he yanks one out a couple pounds bigger. Now I have to yank another one out. I don't know if I'm going to beat that. I don't know if I'm going to beat that uni, though. That was a nice one. I knew he was going to come out. But. But you left me you left me room because he was a small uni. He was only ten pounds something. Uh -huh. So I got room to get one I got room to get a bigger uni. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I want to count Jules out on this guy. Jules is one of the best fishermen we have. I wish I could fish a winner. We have in the club. Oh, I know that. I'm stuck in some of the older videos. <laughs> you is a fish in the shade. <laughs> that? Oh, yep, he catches quite a few of them. Quite a few big ones. You <laughs> can Come on, guys. Now, look at this. You're just yanking them up like it's fish in a barrel here. 
I'm at I'm at eight eleven. Eight eight eleven in the morning. No, I'm getting one here and there. I'm I'm fixing with small minnows. Oh, you fish it. You fish with a bass jig. I told me bass jig. I got from the uh, mission. Ah, okay. I I it. It. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good lure. I don't. I don't fish with any of my trophy or X series gear anymore. I did when I first started getting it, and then I realized I can't get it back. So. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I wear out all the other gear that I have before I start fishing with that. So that could be a couple years. I have five of them, but I don't find. Well, they they should. I mean, they should allow you to buy the X series gear with bait coins. Mm -hmm. You know, you should be able to get it. You should be able to buy it. You shouldn't have to do a. I mean, because some of the some of the competitions that you get the X series gear from and the challenges, you can't go back and redo them. So how are you going to get? How are you yeah. going to? Yeah. How are you going to get it if you eventually wear them out after a couple years of using them? Like the bobbers. The bobbers are the ones that really wear out the fastest. Like all of those nice X series bobbers. I I was using mine, and then all of a sudden I was seeing the, you know, the durability on them going down, and I'm going, wait a minute, I can't go back yeah. to the store and buy another one of those. <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't use mine very much. Yeah, I quit using all my X Series gear until such a time as to where we can purchase X Series gear, yeah. then then it won't be so so bad. But now we're gonna now we're gonna have all kind of cool club series gear, so mm -hmm. that that'll be pretty cool. You got a bass, but it's not bigger. Not very big, now, is he? No. Let's see my uni hole over here. If I can pull one up there, I'm right in front of. I have a uni hole. I have I have holes all over the place. I just don't mark them. I don't want anybody knowing when they watch my videos. Uh oh. What? <clears throat> my weeping willow, uh, my weeping willow license just went out. I know. You're not going anywhere. I'm gonna change my bait. Mm -hmm. What do I want to do? Come on, quit ringing the doorbell. I ain't got no candy for you anyway. Well, it's not even not ringing yet. Well, you wouldn't know that from living in my neighborhood. <laughs> what? They start early before someone else? Oh, they're already trying to get the Halloween stuff out of the way so they can set up all the Christmas crap. Oh, yeah, they do. Nice token boy, have I read? That's not my uni peacock. <laughs> oh, you're trying to get him. Well, he's supposed to be in that all over there, but he's not floating by, so. I'm going to see if I can get a car. That's one thing nice about fishing the Everglades with a small minnow. Um, I don't care. You can throw that small minnow in any hole, and you're going to catch a fish. It's just probably the go-to bait back here for just about everything. Five. I can never get more than a plus five club bonus. Why? 
Well, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm watching these club mate bonuses and the barbless bonuses. I'm watching them with all the fish because they vary. And I'm trying to get a handle on, okay, what's the pattern here? What's the algorithm? And uh, it's kind of tough to figure out here exactly. And that's, I'm thinking that it's pretty much a standard thing. You get five points, five points of fish. for being in the club. Now, I can't, I didn't catch enough fish before you got here to see. I think they said it's the, the it's two people in a club or then five people is the next, the next increase. So if you have two, three, and four people in a room, you get, you all get the same. It's when you get that fifth guy in the room is when, when the, the XP increases. Oh, I see. Yeah, because the more guys you have in the room, that, that makes sense. Yeah, the more, you know, the more XP you guys get. That's a nice size one here. Nice trophy butterfly. Shazam! Uh, well, I can uh, now pick you where you are. <laughs> ah, see, now this time, because the normal, the normal butterfly peacock, I only got five clubmate bonus. Now, this was a trophy butterfly. I got 17 on this one. Aha. Uh -huh. So, size of the fish matters, too. Size of the fish matters. So, that's cool. So, that means it's a percentage, then. Okay. Percentage. Because I'm here, I guess I can get some money here. Well, yeah, you can make money here. I have a big hit in that, like I have my hit. <laughs> this is a good. This is a good lake to make money, Micah. Especially you get you over. Get over. Get once we once we play around here with all these little guys, the bass and the gar and the bowfins and stuff. Then we can go out to the Salty Delta and start latching up with the Snook Tarpon and the Reds. Then you start making real good money. You just need some heavy bottom sticks for Salty Delta. I can use a spider wand or something. I'm figuring. What you I'm figuring you want it. <laughs> okay, so uh, I showed every, I showed everybody where to where to bass in the gar. So let's let's walk over here to the end. Let's get the bow fin up there, Buck. Thanks you did on this small minnow too. Uh, pack your phone in here. My what? <laughs> Yeah, your whole is floating in the air. I'm floating in the air. <laughs> yeah. Am, am, am I? Am, am I high? <laughs> uh, can you see it? Yeah. Walking off oh, the yeah. ground, walking on the clouds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm figuring you, Micah. What? Well, I'm not. Don't tell, Hi. don't tell oh. anybody. I don't like to get my boots dirty. <laughs> there he is. Okay, little Another bass. Okay, we'll take him. Four points on the XP. All right, so I see how that's working. All right, we're done playing with that. I don't care now. Can't get her. Can't get a fix on it. Jules. How many pounds of fish do you have in your fish net right now? <laughs> uh, I'll go look. 
I hope it's right there in front of you. You got two hundred and forty pounds. Yeah. yeah. We've been fishing here the same amount of time. She's got twice the fish, twice the weight of fish as me. I got a two twenty. Yeah, two twenty. I got a hundred and ten. Out of girl. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're it, it, this is going to be our club champion. I can see it coming. Yeah, it's going to be. What do you mean it's going to be? She's it's, already in it. Why the hell dare you insult him that way, folks? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it for some other cannibal things? <laughs> uh oh, there's one running on me, and I'm not paying attention. Hi, Caliberto. Uh-oh, I lost him. Where'd the fish go? Probably Jules stole it. I bet it's in, <laughs> probably in her back pocket. She steals my fish. Gets, no, I don't think that's her. Gets credit for him. That's how she gets 200 pounds. She's stealing my fish out of my, out of my keep net. <laughs> why am I a little good? <laughs> Mm. You're not late, Caliber. You're present, buddy. You're present. Present and accounted for. Everybody runs late around here. This is killing me that I actually have a time that I have to turn the damn stream on because I'm late for everything. Oh, Wheezy Mouse can't take it. She can't go anywhere with me. It takes 20 minutes for me to get in a car, 20 minutes for me to get out of a car. <laughs> <laughs> I am the old man in a hat. <laughs> There's another trophy. Yeah, well, I figured I have to get serious here now, Jules, and actually fish. Since you're out, you're showing me up here. I got to start fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know why? Because you're all tense. When when you're fishing tournaments, you're all worked up, you're tense, you're raring to go. It's like I know I only have two hours. You know, it's it's a whole it's a whole nother thing. When you're out here with us, you're out relaxed, having a good time, and the fish just come naturally. You get in the zone. You have to feel it. Fishing is a <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I just copy what you do. The best training possible. How long does our rest? Your mic's breaking up again, Smoke. I'm outside. I'm sorry. But you gave me the best training possible. How long do our episodes last? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, there he is. Um. Little one. He's almost bait for that last one. Halfway, Buck.
I must say the fishing has been between, you know, I mean, we got three guys in here fishing and we're all catching fish. It's pretty, it's, the fishing's pretty good right here this morning. Even though the barometers, whoa, there he goes again, Buck, you're not paying attention. The barometers. Uh, yeah, it's way low. Where'd you... Another trophy. No, I haven't even we haven't even hit a peak yet on our on our map. It was one of them long drawn out Low days the peak don't come till one o'clock we're we're catching yeah. fish and it ain't even got hot yet <laughs> yeah the bite rate's just gonna go up with each passing minute so that's pretty sweet we'll just we're just gonna keep catching more and more fish Gotta love a day like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although I went over here to this hole specifically to pull a damn bowfin out of there, mm -hmm. and I ain't got I ain't got one yet. Oh, that's a nice trophy, Mike. Huh? Six pounder. Um, nice little trophy. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he goes. He's on the run. Hope he's going back. Boom! Gotcha, boy. Up over the bridge. There he is, finally. Boy, he's a little baby one, too. Look at that little thing. Looks like a mud guppy. Looks like a little mud guppy. Uh oh, Buck. He's right near the boat. I ought to get you a good one. He got a weed. Oh, Micah got a weed. Oh, it's called a weed bag? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I apologize for my call quality. I'm out in my garage, so. Oh, I think I'm making a boo boo. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> hey, I was looking. I was looking at the map. My big wing. Is that what I have? I have 51 pounds. Oh. You have the long one. <laughs> You're giving me your net size. Giving me your net size, yeah. huh? Yeah. I, was like, <laughs> I thought it sounded familiar. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, 
13 fish you got. I gotta see how many I got. Ah, uh, I got a couple more than you. Just a couple. Micah, why why are you fishing for the water lilies? They need to stay they need to stay in the water. They need to live in the water. <laughs> Quit throwing that bass jig in the middle of the hornwort patch. I'm trying not to. It's gonna happen again anyway. I know it happens to me about a million times a day when I'm fixing those weed beds. But that's where there's bass in them weed beds. I like to just I like to take a uh Oh, there he is. Oh, who's caught that right out from underneath me? I like to take a Texas rig with a worm and fish the, fish the weed beds. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Wendy. Both of you guys caught two nice bass. Oh, now I get a ding. I'm trying to catch both fish. Not anymore. There he is. Well, I only got one so far. Oh, there, there's another bass. Damn it. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit shorter. See if I can stay away from the bass back there. Now he's now he's what now you're fishing in the weeds. Sawgrass. You're not even in the water now. You're in the you're off on the bank. Well now you say it, now I'm not fishing you. Nice largemouth bass there. Walker. On a walker. Yeah. A green one. Try that stout walker. That works pretty good. You got, one, from the you got one of them from Patty's Day. There's, there's my bow fin. Another little one. I don't think I have one this time. Oh. My name one does. My name one does. There's Jules yanking another one in. Hey, girl. I'm just doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> I got the same bait. It's working, right? Same it's working. Apparently, she's holding her mouth the right way. Oh. <laughs> Another bass. You better start taking lessons, Buck. I know. <laughs> Not every day the grasshopper defeats the disciple. She's been snatching the pebble pretty good lately. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be as good as I am now. Well, in video. Mm. 
Well, I'm a firm believer in, you know, there's two ways of looking at things in life. You can take a man out and buy him a meal and you fed him for the day, or you take him out and teach him how to fish and you fed him for the rest of his life. <laughs> I've heard that one before. Yep. To me, that's kind of what I, that's the way I see things. Just don't get the government involved. <laughs> <laughs> and it is. I mean, I mean, in my opinion, it's like the same. It's just like in real life fishing for me. Um, it's it's all about a oh, you went real far that time, Buck. It's all about a mojo. I mean, whether you catch fish or not, it's it, everything's the karma. Everything's just got to be there. It's got to feel right to you. You know, you can't force shit. It's just, you have to feel it. Mm-hmm. You, you, you get on a waterway, you look at it, you feel it in your body. Where are they at? Where are they at? You know, and it's tough in a game to do that, you know, but... Um, you can, you can do it, and especially this game here, they give you the blow-ups in the water, they, I mean, if you look at the way they lay this, these maps out, um, you can tell the places where there are not fish, so that's, it's, it's, you know, it's like I say in my videos, finding fish is one of the hardest things on earth to do, finding fish. It's not an easy thing. So, rather than try to always find fish, when you get on a waterway, eliminate the places that you know they're not. Right off the bat. And, you know, if you see absolutely no structure, if you see very shallow uh, sloping in water banks, so you know you've got no structure, shallow waters, uh you're not going to find a lot of fish up in there. Don't, don't bother with that. Concent, concentrate where the fish might be. Sorry, Mike, I wasn't paying attention. I just saw a fish chunk over there. Yeah, that's the new the new update. It's really cool. I mean, if you haven't been fishing with the new update, and it's just kind of like your first time. Before we used to get, um, we used to get little tiny bait fish that jumped out of the water. Now, now the big ones. Like if you're down, if you're down in South America, the silver arowanas jump up out of the water. How do they know they can count? <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I need to go see that when I go there. Uh oh. I'm laughing what, at my, I was laughing what? at you throwing I was laughing at you fishing in the bank and I just threw my bobber up in the bank. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Can I tarpon jump in the water? Oh yeah. I'm anxious to see when we if we get over there to the salty delta here tonight, which we okay, will. Man. We'll get over there. We should be seeing them jump up out of the water because they naturally, I mean, that that fish breaches all the time. Yeah, there's a, uh, I think a pretty place that you can go feed them, I think. Hmm. There's a place that you can actually feed the carp. I think it's in Florida or something. Well, I was glad to I was glad to see that none of the damn carp at Weeping Willow were jumping up out of the water. That would have really made me angry. Why? Because they don't do that. <laughs> but see, Weeping Willow, those carp do a lot of things at Weeping Willow that they don't do in real life. They're 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 they're. they're they're demonic carp. They're they're possessed. The carpet weeping willow. Mm-hmm. 
Those signs that are posted all over Weeping Willow, they're right. And don't count? Yeah, because those, those carp are psycho. What's that? Oh. You got a common carp that's going to... Uh, uh, I don't want to get into it. You know my... You know my deal. <laughs> yeah. With that common carp. If I have a 50 pound rod, I should be able to get those 35 pound fish in, no problem. That's right. There's my boat fin. Well, guys, what do you think? we got a half an hour left in the stream. What do you say we head to the Salty Delta and we catch some big boys for, for the last half hour, huh? Yeah. Okay. I think that sounds great. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I get one more here. All right. Join us, at, join us over at Salty Delta. We're headed there. Okay. Are you going to go with Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. Okay, there's nothing here. So you want to do the bottles and just get to catch bigger fish now? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, she's going to she's gonna be catching bigger ones. I'm at 17 right now. I think we have to ban her from the tutorial <laughs> series for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> What's her last name again? Lizzie A. Let me move my rod stand. You're going to trip over my rod stand there. <laughs> I'll go I'll, I'll, gla I'll gladly give you the corner here. That's no problem. Uh, all right. Great trout fisher, man. She's not afraid to have that at the end. Yeah. She'd be good, good on the first day of trout. <laughs> all right. Let's catch some. Let's catch some reds. Let's catch some reds and some tarpon here. We should be able to catch some reds and tarp in here. Well, that's in the wrong spot, Buck. Sorry about that, Buck. That's all right. It's what, that's what's so cool about the fish. Fish can with Buck. All right. I only brought two. I only brought two sticks worthy, I think. See what else I have in the old oh river spare if I wanted it. Oh the Tropicana. Oh my god. Okay. You're not you're not equipped for the good uh oh. 
Okay, we'll keep them, but so uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, did we lose them? No, we got them. Yeah. Well, not exactly what I wanted, but. Hi, Mr. Tarpon. Get with the program now. Now, let's see if we see any tarpon jumping out of water. I ain't seen a, I ain't seen a damn fish jump out of the water yet here. Okay, that was too quick. What are you, <clears throat> what are you, what bait are you using, Micah? Uh, you should know it's a fun bait with a flip. Oh, you're, you're lure fishing. Okay. I'm not more about that than what you guys are doing. <laughs> oh, I know. I know, you, you, you like to, you like your lure fishing. Make it quick and have a tight one. I'm not going to check it out. Yes. I'll just smack. Right. As long as it's blown or salty, it should be a good bait. What's that smoke? As long as it's a blue, something blown or salty, it should work fine. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he, lo he loves his buzz bait. <laughs> Catches a lot of damn fish on it. <laughs> uh, so they're not gonna do Halloween or something. <clears throat> yeah, they're gonna do it. It's just that they're they're not saying nothing. I don't see it on the Well, game. wait a minute. It it takes what? It's fourteen days, isn't it? Or is it eleven days? Uh eleven days. I thought it was 14 days of Halloween, which means they have to start it, like, tomorrow or something. Let's see here. Let's go, let's go to missions. Completed missions. Ghost gate. 
something once upon a Halloween. It doesn't say, does it? doesn't say how many days it took, how many days they gave us for it. Hmm. No, it doesn't say. Hmm. It should start now because it's almost here. I, I, would, think, I would think if they're going to run it, we probably will see something in, like tomorrow or the next day. It would have to start so we get it done by Halloween. Yeah. The other one's known for 79 days. Yeah, the Christmas one before it gets here, 79 days away. Yeah, the Halloween should be starting tomorrow. But they don't do anything for Thanksgiving, right? No. That's why that's why I was kind of thinking that maybe the maybe the new the new ocean map would come out around Thanksgiving. Mm. But that's just me being very hopeful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I haven't heard a whole lot of rumblings. Of, I haven't heard a little... What's that? That'd be a good time to do it, right? Along with the Christmas run. Well... I'm sure they're not going to do anything new for Christmas. It's quite a big event, and um, it's been the same for the last two years. I don't see it changing. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about for a flow schedule. That's when you do the Black Friday offer so that you can get your premium part for really cheap. It gives you a little bit of time before the Christmas holiday run. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, I mean, that was my whole thought process. It was, you know, Thanksgiving, out comes the ocean map. But I'm hoping. But it would already be in beta by now. If that, if Well, not necessarily. They could wait till the 1st of November and put it in beta. Mm-hmm. Because I know that map's going to get tested by the beta testers. Because they, yeah. they can't afford... That's the that's the big thing with these small development companies. Um, <clears throat> they can't afford a good test team, so they have to let the they have to use the users, their own users, as their test team, which is terrible. But you know we've got a good community here in Fishing Planet, and there's a lot of guys that are willing to do that. You know, test buggy software for them. Oh, man, we're going to give you early access, but you can't talk about it for four months. Cool. Well, <clears throat> I had an opportunity to become one of them. I, I turned it down. I, I, I don't want to do it. I, I tested software all my life for a living. I, I don't want to do it now. I just want to play. You know, I want to use the game when it's all done and good. <laughs> I don't want to find a bug. <laughs> yeah, I find enough bugs in their production software. You know, I don't need to be testing their their bug riddled software. Mm-hmm. They get my bug testing for free. I I I I send them nice bug reports when I find stuff. But unfortunately, they don't fix many of them. Mm-mm. No, mm-hmm. they, they don't. They don't fix many bugs. They're not good on bug fixing. Mm-hmm. If it's if it's detrimental to the game, they normally handle it. But other than that, they're, they're not much on their cosmetic 
bug fixing. I like the fact that now we have to play the tiger shark off the rocks, the tiger fish. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they 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 ninety percent of your fish in that in that one hole that you and I fish at, Mike, all the time off of that rock. Yeah. Where right where we fish right between the two rocks, we throw right between the mm -hmm. two rocks there. We catch our big tiger mm -hmm. fish. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> They all come flying up over that rock now, and you have to fight them in the air because you have to keep your tension on them while they're in the air, or or you lose them. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I I lost one in midair, and it came down and landed right on the rock on my feet and flopped in the water. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, wow. I couldn't believe it. That's crazy. But it affects the flop type of fish. So I gotta be careful doing that now. Yeah, I mean, cause that was—that's what hit me in the last part of that mission. I lost like, oh man, I don't know how many tiger fish, just because of the new, just because of the new fish mechanics over those rocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hi, right, Jules. Keep an eye on my poles. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. There's gaff top sail catfish right there. Oh. There he is. <laughs> what? The gaff top cell. Are you scrambling with him? No, I was just telling Jules that's right where they are, right off the dock. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I need for this waterway. What do I need? Don't look at your things. Oh, I need a lot of them. Jeez. Like what? Uh, the trophy bow fin. I just left the bow fin. I needed that uni peacock. Anything else? I need a uni gar. Trophy and uni gaff top sail. Oh, I haven't even caught it. I haven't even caught the common shiner yet. You need large mouth. Oh, I need a ton of them. You need what? I need I need too many of them. Hey Jules, can you help him collect the rest of these fish? <laughs> I'm not I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> I'm not. I got. I got years to collect these fish. Mm -hmm. He got it. Yeah. It only took me like a month to get that. I know. Well, you know, how are you doing? They have gars and glory tournament with it. Oh, I don't have time for that one this weekend. It's uh, too much on my plate. 
what that means. Just got too much to do, and then Red and and Red and Wheezy Mouse want to throw another camping trip in on me. Ah. Uh, What's that? Well, most of the KOAs closed yesterday, but ours here in Connellsville is open all year round. But they don't have any spots available for this week. Um, do you have a KOA membership? No, not yet. Okay. I'm well, getting I'm I'm gonna, a question, but never mind. Well, I'm getting one because it's worth it. Well, what, what are they charging you a night right now? Well, it, it all depends on which KOA you go. I mean, right where we like to go here close by, it's only an hour or so away from home. Um, it's 60 bucks a night for the during the week, and it's um, 72 a night on the weekend. Okay. Full cool hookup. And it's just, I'm curious, because I work with ODI. Mm. And say I were to activate my Coast to Coast, I can go to one, all the ODI campgrounds. But even if I stop at a KOA, I get it for like five, ten bucks a night. Wow. That's pretty sweet. So yeah, let me know what you get for amenities once you become a member. I'm curious. Okay. Uh, guys. Enough business talk. I'm gonna eat my food real quick. Uh huh. Oh boy, I had clam. What'd you get? A drum. Oh yeah, if you're fishing over there with a bass jig, you're gonna nail those drums. A that? But they're they're all through that stand up that standing wood right up there. Just throw right to the left of that wood. Yeah, you'll you'll kill those drums over there. That's nice. That's Fish what I need. Yeah, a ton of reds over there. Yep. I'm yeah. on the drum here. Get them all. So I just need those weenies of anything else. Uh. They're back where we were at. One's here. The other one's back there. Well, I thought for sure I'd be catching fish here, and I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's your teeth. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's your paint brush. <laughs> I'm not going right now to right. Oh, I know you guys are catching fish, but I'm not. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, I mean I caught. What kind of hook are y'all using? I I'm using. Three on. Oh, I'm I'm fishing with seven on hooks. I'm using a buzz bait. <laughs> so you got what four on on that buzz bait? Maybe five on. Try a smaller hook or buck. The only thing I can think of. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fishing for guppies. <laughs> Another snook. I even switched up and went to shrimp. I figured, well, okay, I'm going to go after these tarpon with some shrimp. They love shrimp. And, uh, it ain't happening yet. I haven't got one. I haven't hooked up with one tarpon yet. I'm usually good for two or three by now. Come on. Come on, Buck. What are you doing here? You're messing around. You're digging in the tackle box or something. What do you pay attention? <laughs> Uh, 
You guys noticed when I on my on that short of me catching that that small I almost fell out of the boat. What small one? Uh, I don't know. You don't watch my channel, Micah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that little short I put in there, me catching that smallmouth bass. Uh, it's a short. It's a little short video. Well, when I when I was laying on that bass. Um, he was two eight. Okay. He, almost three. That's that's a nice. That was a nice smallmouth bass. I don't care who you are. That's you know that. Oh no. That was that was a nice fish. He, he that was a nice fight. I I deserved that one. It's been a long time coming since I latched on to one like him. That got my that got my hopes and my adrenaline back up. I've I've been so sick of catching little tiny largemouth bass and crappy little tiny crappy and shit. Ugh. And all of our waterways are drained so low. It's oh, it's just I I'm so frustrated about our fishing around here. Why are all the reservoirs so low? Do you have any clue? Well, they, my the answer I keep getting is <clears throat> they drain the reservoirs to supply the cities with water. Ah, I I don't I don't get it. Let this friggin' city folk friggin' go without a shower for a while. You know they waste too damn much water anyway. We're just feeding water to people who waste it. <laughs> I see you go, go, go. <laughs> no, she, she said she sees you, Mike, over there wiggling. <laughs> no, I, I see my Bobo wiggling. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, oh, pardon me. Excuse me here. Let me get the hell out of the way. <laughs> there. there you go. Come on, grab it. Grab it. Come on, Carol. <laughs> well, once again, I'm back to the go the ghost sticks. Oh, what? My ghost sticks. They're get they're fishing for ghost fish that don't exist. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, can we get a tarpon to end the show? That would be so nice. Just one. One tarpon for the needy. No. Huh? No, another damn snoop. Four minutes. Four minutes. Ending boat is offline. Where are these guys mm -hmm. at? Why aren't Why aren't they in there? Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you very much. 
We finally get him, Jules. I don't see him flopping around yet. Huh? I got something. Flopping on your end? Look. Hey, no. Yep. Oh. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Thank you. I guess I like either whatever we're throwing at them. Look at Jules fishing like that X series bobber. Uh huh. Gonna do it. <clears throat> all right, guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's our nine o'clock, seven to nine. Only at ten o'clock in my car. All right. <laughs> let me let me close the show out here. All right, guys. Well, we did pretty good over there, fishing over at the Lily Channel. Um, caught a lot of gar. A lot of bass, as you saw, everybody was catching a lot of bass. Moved over here to Salty Delta. Ah, we caught a little bit, mostly snook over here. My uh, Mike on the end, all the way on the end over there, he was catching some reds. Now the reds run over there. If you if you guys are here at the end of the dock over there, straight out through the wood, um, <clears throat> you'll get them reds. So you just fish out through them that wood there, and you'll pick up on those red drums. And like I said, the snook and the tarpon are right out there, just to the right-hand side of the little island over in there. And I was playing around here to see if I could just, what I could grab up over here in the woods. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit, remember to hit the subscribe button. Check out the bait shop every Saturday, every Saturday night at 7 o'clock. That's where you find out all the latest news that's going on in for the week. So, we're waiting on the Halloween missions to drop. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, if they're going to drop. All right. Never, ever give up the fight. We'll see you later. That's the thing, that's not.